Born in America and Europe, Australia, in India, Canada, eh? Um, but good morning, folks. Oh, buenos dias to mis South American amigos. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I hate? I hate when you have like an extra day off on the weekends for whatever the holiday may be. It's great. It's, it's lovely in the moment. It sucks. That's that snooze. I'm like, okay, going back to sleep. Then the second snooze you hit, and I like hesitate. I'm like, wait, whoa, 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 I can't do that again. I got to work. So that's my that's my ting. So I hate you three day weekends. I love you in the moment. Hate you the next day. Um, I was listening to some radio, and they're talking about a Charlie Charlie challenge. Where they stack on two stack two pencils on top of each other, and they summon some Mexican demon. Uh, I don't know about you guys, folks, but I'm not. I'm not one to believe in a lot of things, but I don't. What I don't really deal with, or what I don't believe in, or what I believe in is what I believe in. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to reward this best. Ghosts, I strongly believe in them. Only because of how I grew up and the experiences I had. You can, you can, you're entitled to your opinion. I'm entitled to mine. Uh, you've had your experiences, I've had mine. That's all. Uh, I'm not afraid of ghosts. I'm not afraid of ghosts at all. I've been in many, many, many uh, haunted, quote-unquote, locations, whether they be uh, children's psychiatric, uh, burnt down, like, I've been to burnt down children's psych psychiatric homes. I've been to a hotel that had like 21 murders within like 20 years. There's some like crazy demonic stuff that was supposed to be possess possessive entities or whatever it may, be, it may have been inside the, the or haunting this place. I've been in Haunted Field, I've been to Haunted Gettysburg. Needless to say, I've been to a lot. Um, and I'm not, I'm not intimidated by ghosts, I'm not intimidated by the thought of ghosts. I'm not intimidated by the thought of sitting in a dark room inside of a castle, locked for an hour, whatever the case may be. I'm not intimidated by those. There is one thing that I've never had an experience of, never want to, never want to fathom the thought of the possibility they could be real. And that is demonology. So, I need to say, if we are tagged in some kind of Charlie Charlie challenge, um, A, I'm not going to accept it. Only because I don't believe in that. I don't, I'm not a religious guy. I'll be honest with you, I'm not. But when it comes to just the thought and the the lore behind demons, I don't mess with that. I don't don't want nothing to do with possession. And about that life, I am about to have my head spun. I am not floating from the sky. None of that. I will not be doing any of that. Um, but Bobby, it's Fike. Bobby, it's Fike. Uh, well, thank you for letting me know that, British friend. Um, I don't want to, and nor do I care to find out if it is fake. I, I'm not a chump. Not by any means. I'm not. I just, oh. Do you ever want, like, one of those things, like, I don't, I don't know. It sounds weird, like, oh, how are you not afraid of ghosts, but you're, and you believe in ghosts, but you're, you're afraid of, I'm not afraid. I'm just, I'm not really going to entertain the idea. Does that make sense to you? I don't know, folks. That's my thing. That's that's my thing. What are your thoughts, folks? Do you believe in ghosts, and do you believe in the idea of demons? Like, do you do you believe in that 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 that? that? Do you believe in that uh, realm of life? Let me know in the comments below. What do you believe in ghosts? I'm not saying do you believe in ghosts. What do you believe? Do you believe your pet dog Wilson dies and he hangs around, or he goes right up to puppy dog heaven? I don't know. You ask yourself, and then tell me below. Uh, folks, thank you very much for joining us again today. Uh, uh, I don't know. We love what we do for you. We love what you do. You know, you know the whole spiel. Folks, thank you very much as always. Uh, always remember to stay positive. Keep your rest. Keep it blah 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 blah. Screw it up. But it's okay. You know what I'm saying. Thank you, folks. Bye bye. Wow! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
¿Qué se dice a los amigos? Tías Y... ¡Ay! <risa> Buenos días, mis amigos Shimmy, 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 shimmy El amor es my smoothie Es my smoothie ¿You made it? Yeah ¿Tú lo hiciste? Yeah Lies, chiquita Ow Freaking nails are so long They're long to a point that it Freaking hurts But they're long to the point that it feels really good When she gives me a, a massage and scratches my back Okay, Nana, stop, stop. Oh my, she, she has this new thing. She's like pulling on my clothes and it ticks me off. Okay, enough. Or no smoothie. Don't test me. Why are they at this age that they want to test? Like, I really want to see if you're my parent. I want to see what you're going to do. So I'm just going to keep doing what I do. Like, why? It makes sense. Hmm. Ew, I hate when there's chunks in there. Anyways. Ew. <laughs> you know what you're saying, ew, too. Weirdo. I'm feeling in that kind of mood where it's just... Uh, sad. And that's sad for any, like, really legit reason. But sad because there's so much clutter in this house. And, oh, anxiety. And that's sad. Anxiety. I have anxiety right now. So I went through my night drawer, Dad, right? Cool. my nightstand, Dad, cool. yeah, and those drawers I had so much crap, like chargers I and CDs, pens, cooking books, a little, like notepads, like two little notepads and an umbrella, combs, you guys are going to laugh when you see this. Oh, my old phones. Oh, my gosh. A flip phone. I love this thing. Oh, I used to hate texting on it. Well, back then, I didn't really mind. This was my all-time favorite, the HTC Palm. Oh, my gosh. It was the greatest thing in the world. And this was another good one. I think this is the HTC Android. Is this Android? I don't know. I keep my phones. I don't know why. Just good to reminisce on the good old days. Anyways, like I was saying, uh, before I got distracted, yeah, all the clutters, a lot of it is my fault too because I don't know how to let things go. I just keep everything stuffed in a drawer and I call it a day. Like, at least, I like to like that to present that I am clean, but my drawers are a little bit messy. Don't forget a big, huge shout out to my John Jay alumni, Just Me 87. I don't know his name. But he's graduating from John Jay College, is the college that I graduated from. And he's going into family law, so I'm super excited for him. I wish it was criminal law because I might need a criminal lawyer one day. You never know. Me and boys, I might need you. But we could do family law too. <laughs> so congratulations to you. And anybody else that's graduating high school, college, elementary school, whatever. Like, I'm so proud of you guys. School is not easy. It's not fun. But you do what you have to do. Like, I didn't go to school and say, I want to become something in life. Like, I went to school because I knew I had to. And I knew I had to become, well, yeah, I'm kind of contradicting myself. I knew I had to be, like, I needed a, a high school and college diploma to live in society, whatever, whatever. So, big ups to all you guys. I love you guys so much. And continue with school. It's not the best thing. I used to go to extra credit all the time. Oh, no, extra help after school. Okay extra help i used to do extra credits like i was a, not really a teacher's pet but i did my best in trying to always get higher grades it sucks but just do what you gotta do and then once you get your degrees then you could do what you really want like youtube like me or acting i wish i, would, I really want to do acting again Sorry. oh hello i'm sorry I don't know how to look at you, Mama. That's a daddy. Yeah. What are you doing, banana babes? We ate crackers. What are you doing? Crackers and hummus. You're eating crackers and hummus? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's good. Are you having a good day? Yeah. I ate a crackers and hummus. Aww. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Dad is not home today? No. No. <laughs> Where is he? Our mommy. 
Gina Gaza. On the Dada. Santa Gina is outside. Oh, she thinks you're outside. Outside? She's working. She's working. Yeah, why are you picking your nose, nasty? Booyah, booyah, booyah. If you're not gonna put a ring on it, if you're not gonna, you're gonna put a ring on it. Oh, 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 and she's knocked out. One, two, three. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. It's time to wake up because then you won't fall asleep tonight. If you don't wake up, Mama will keep just singing louder and louder. Look at those beautiful lips of yours. It matches your cute little button of nose. And those eyes, the sty, your eye. Is just gorgeous, Nemo. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bob. What is your name? Ziana. <laughs> Do you like to play, Ziana? What else do you like to do? Do you like popcorn? Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite parent? Yeah. Mama or Dada? Dada. What? Dada. No! <laughs> You're obviously sleep talking, girl. <laughs> Hi, mommy. You look so gorgeous when you wake up. Hey. 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 <laughs> oh, I can just stare at you all day. You're so beautiful. This segment is brought to you by. What you dream of, Z? Goals. You did dream of goals. What goals? Where were you? What did you do? Get sisters. I took a picture of goals. You took a picture of the ghost. Yeah. So cool. Get us. I took a picture of toy. With Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. Oh, I miss Charlie. Is he I'm here? Right. Is yeah. he here now? Yeah, he's here. Where? Right this side. Outside the window? Yeah. Well, that's freaky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mis amigos, 
I am so proud of myself. All right, so this past weekend, I was talking to a family friend. Her name is Denise. Yeah. Well, not my family friend, but a family okay. friend of the other family. Whatever. So she just looks amazing. She's going to be like 40. And her issue, like my issue is, we're skinny, but like a lot of the weight just goes straight to the stomach. It doesn't look horrible, but it's, we see it. Anyway, so she changed up her whole eating uh, routine and has been exercising. I'm not all about exercising. I might start doing it because it seems easy with, from what she was telling me. Clean eating. So this is my first official, like clean everything day. is clean, a healthy dinner. Potatoes. I mean, well, sweet potatoes that are mashed. Quinoa. I already love quinoa, so that's not a big issue. I made white rice for Boyd, so because he's not trying to slim down, he's trying to bulk up. And then I got salmon. In the frit in the fridge in the oven the stove oven, whatever and like how I usually make my other salmon is like with um, adobo and sazon and cheese and none of that there's only dry herbs and peppers and some salt and pepper black pepper that's it how it's gonna turn out I don't know but I had a little fingertip taste of that <laughs> and this is what it looked like. The picture that I put up on Instagram looks so That's much better. Yes, yeah, Samon, you gotta put that away, okay? No. Anyways, let's try the, the quinoa. I think I put too much water, so it's kind of mushy. But it's still good. It's still good. Whoa, it's really mushy. <laughs> the. Sweet potatoes. Mm, it is yum. It's really good. It's really good. I feel like salt is but it's really good. Like there's maybe salt, but it's it's not bad. I'm not a sweet potato kind of chick. I want to put the bag. Oh. Holy cow. It's really good, actually. God. I just messed up the quinoa. I just wish it wasn't mushy like this, but it's really good. Mommy, can you taste a little bit, please? Um, okay, the quinoa. Ooh, you're going to like this. No potatoes. It's sweet potatoes. It's no. candy. This is a treat. It is not a treat. <laughs> it is so. Mm. Come on, come on. Or no cookie. You no snack. So, 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 what do you think? What do you think? Mac and cheese. That's not mac and cheese, I assure you. <laughs> salmon, 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 salmon. Uh, so, so, so. So, no mac and cheese. No, it's not, that's not mac and cheese either, actually. Yeah, okay, no talking with your mouth full. Um, not so much. But it's really good. Yay! Can't wait to make a cooking recipe. Okay. It's boy toy, boy toy, yo, boy toys in the house. It's boy toy, boy toy. Can I get a little smooch? Can I get a little? Can I get a little? Can I get a little pound? Put it there. 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 Where's that from? What movie? Put him up, put him up. Put him up, put him up. Oh, Cinderella. Ah! You're not a very scary Cinderella. You're not a very scary Cinderella. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna be fighting for your affection for the rest of our lives. I'm here all day. Where have you been? I miss you long time. <laughs> ah! Bay. What? Poop. 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 Bay, because I, I don't even know if it's true. We just assume it's true. His nephew Shay was like Bay. The B A E means poop. So that's what I'm going to call you now. Poop. Come here, poop. Your ear smells good. Huh? Your ear smells good. Tonight. Dinner is brought to you by Betsy V Healthy Living. Eating.
Okay, what we're are not we living go? healthy. We're eating healthy. Babe, okay. babe, I got quinoa over here. You got choices. Quinoa, white rice, mashed potatoes, uh, blah, 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 sweet potatoes. And then we've got salmon. Salmon with no sazon, no adobo, no queso, no nada. All healthy, dry herbs. Nami. Those are the only peppers that you didn't want to get. <laughs> yeah, babe. I thought you didn't want those peppers. Well, now I'm using it, and we're gonna buy a lot more sweet peppers for the rest of our lives. You excited to try it? Excited. Why? We go through these things where we're just laughing, we cannot stop laughing. <laughs> and we go like this. <laughs> it, she looks she just like me when I did it. <laughs> Tell them your, your fake laugh. So, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I think there's fingers in my rice. <laughs> it's different. But it's good because it's not you. It's, it's like a new you. It's like, I don't taste the grease or the butter or the queso from queso. It's very good. Not bad for first time. So yeah, great. put it there. What's the wrong with you, kid? <laughs> and what's up with that? With the Elvis hair? Mm. I don't know, I'm sorry. Really? Well, I was dead. Mmm. <laughs> Nothing. Tell me your story. We're, bl we're watching ba Blacklish. Blackish. Blackish on ABC. It's a real, real good comedy. Um, so, the girl. So, they're giving their daughter permission. I think she's like 16 years old to go out to the movie. <laughs> But she has to be back home by 11.30 at night. And I looked at him and I was like, damn! And Boyce was like, I didn't, I, I didn't have to be back home until 11.30 either. I was like, what? At 16? But when you you had to be home at 11.30 too, but if you're running late... Yeah, if, you, I was, if I was running late, I would at least... I would, my mother made me sure that... My mother would ha tell me to call her. So if I was like five minutes late, ten minutes late, I hit a pay phone. Because in my time, we had to hit pay phones. <laughs> I was like, Ma, I was like, I did that once. Like, I think I had to be back home at like three or something. And we were at the club and a fight broke out. Fire department had to come and everything and they would not let anybody leave the club. Stop. You're being very rude. <laughs> so my mom was like, okay, you have to call if you're going to be late. That's what I did. I'm in the club. They won't let us out. I'm going to be late. Oh, what time do you think you're going to be home? I don't know what time I'm going to be home. And I got punished for a whole month, two months, I couldn't go out. So Boyster asked me, he's like, how old were you? 20. I was like 19 or 20 years old. <laughs> you're a legal adult. <laughs> but that's how it is. I think with all Spanish people, like old school, that pe like people that are raised with their old school parents, like my dad did not play that. At my prom, I could not stay out late. 
He didn't understand what a prom was. I couldn't do anything. Like, I lived a hard knock life in custody. I was in jail. You were definitely in jail. Yeah, I just sneak out a lot. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go sleep at my friend's house. My mom knew exactly what we were doing. She was like, oh, okay, you're gonna sleep over. My brother knew. My dad kind of like, I guess he played dumb or he really didn't know that I was sneaking out. Like, yeah. I'm gonna sleep over. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I wanna sleep over. You're never gonna sleep over because I know exactly what you're gonna do. I wanna sleep over. No. I wanna sleep over. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna call it a night. Take it off. I'm okay. Dodo! Any brain? It's a frog! It's new. What's new? Are you gonna mention that in tomorrow's vlog? I'm tired. No. See you mañana. Check out the Walt Disney Wednesday blog post. I'll leave the link aquí. Ya tu sabes. More pictures and information on. Our vacation. So, hasta mañana. My good